y'all, it's the cute coffee gal, and I am back with part four of my island living let's play. I am super excited to see uh, Randy kind of advance a little bit further in her career this part, as well as we're going to give another run at trying to befriend a dolphin. So be sure that you stay tuned and make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. The last time I looked, only 25% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed to my channel, which is just crazy to me. Please subscribe to my channel so that I will know that you are liking the content that I'm making and I'll keep making it for you. And also don't forget that I have a giveaway going on on my channel. You can get the, the details about that in the description down below. So we have a uh, Saturday morning here and actually it's fall. It's actually about to be winter and it's a little cold. Um, they don't seem to be acting particularly cold, so I haven't bought a thermostat for them. I'm curious to see how the colder weather works in Sulani, so we will um, definitely make sure that we um, keep an eye on that, and I want to get a, a thermostat if we need to. And I'm noticing she has a birthday cake icon, why? Oh, from hosting a party. I did try to do the Kava party again, and we got silver again. So that's actually going to be a harder thing to get a gold on than I had thought it would be. So I may try to do that in this part as well. We'll just kind of see how things go here. But let's go ahead and have her do her items for her work so that we don't, um, that we don't, uh, that we're not late on those. I can't talk. Um, and then we will actually go swim a little bit more. I want to come on out here or maybe one of the other swimming spots and see if we can, when the dolphins are out, if we can uh, befriend them because I'm ready to be friends with a dolphin. And it looks like, look at this, this is in the water, like a little more sideways than I think it was before. It looks like there's more than one fish in there. I'm going to have here, before we go do work, let's have him just come out here and check this trap one more time. We haven't caught anything yet, so I don't know that we're going to. Um, there may be more bait things that we need to be paying attention to, but let's see. What you got in there, Paolo? It's set, but no fish have swam in yet. Yeah, so that's that's what we keep doing. I'll have to We'll have to further investigate that, but let's go ahead and have Randy travel on over to... Um, Mua Palam, and we'll just let Paolo chill here for a little bit. He may go run and do some odd jobs. He actually is kind of like, you know, he's, he's a professional athlete. And so at this point, he's like, I hate to say that he's bored, but I think that he thought that he would enjoy relaxing more than he has. So he's actually been considering maybe doing a part-time job. Um, I think that since he is an athlete, maybe a lifeguard would make sense for him or maybe he could like be a part-time lifeguard and a part-time fisherman or something it is prettier over here than it was last time look at all of these beautiful flowers because you know we got that notification that said that things were looking better it's really gorgeous oh is there more um coral it looks like i think the water was nowhere near this clear last time we were over here and i don't know that it was this colorful either here do we need to pick up trash no we're just taking photos and waterfall samples. Okay, so here's the waterfall. Is this what we're taking samples of? Yes. So let's grab a sample there. I wonder if there's more than one waterfall. Let's see. From the waterfall. So it must just be this one. There must not be more than one. And we, um, a few parts ago, we came over here and like, we called the frogs, attracted frogs. But I like don't, I don't really know what that did for us, you know, like... I don't know if that was just an interesting interaction or what the deal was. So, all right, get on over here and let's take these samples. Oh, and it's only letting me take one at a time. She's got to wait a while to take the next one. So let's go ahead and get a picture here. We've got to do five photos so we can get some pictures of other things too. Let's see, what is this? This is a wild taro root. Let's take a photo of that. And this looks like some trash. We might as well clean it up. I have a hard time just walking by it when it's right there, you know? What else could we take pictures of? Like, I guess we could, well, no, not really the scenery. That doesn't give us a little pop-up. Let's see. Probably other plants and things, I would imagine. Or maybe, ooh, what's this over here? What is this? Oh, this must be like lava. Let's take a sample. I wonder if this is like 
algae or something like that. We can't take a picture of it. I thought we might be able to take a picture of it. It looks like it's lava, doesn't it? It looks like there's a little embers. I'm kind of confused by the clean up interaction that we have there. Here, get on over here, Randy. Come on over. Let's see what this is. I wonder if she's gonna like get burned or anything. Yeah, see, look. It's a fire extinguisher is how she's cleaning it up. Very interesting. Let's um, let's send that one off to the lab too. Can we? Or is that, I bet that's one of these things. Let's see. These are just all samples. We don't have a specific assignment to what they were. All right, so we still need to do some more photos. What else could we take a photo of? It's a gorgeous day. Wow, so pretty. Can we take photos of like the active erupting volcano? No. Hmm. Maybe, could we do like underwater photos? Well, I wonder if those would count. This is just all really green and beautiful. I don't think that any of this had vegetation on it before. I think it was all just rocks. So that may be part of how it's, the island has, you know, responded to our conservation efforts. Uh, let's see. If we do photos here. Yeah, it doesn't have the little conservation logo. So I'm going to assume that that won't count. Let's see. What other options are there? Maybe we just need to find some more plants or something. That might be the easiest way to do this. What about, oh yeah, this is somebody's lot, so that's not gonna work. Hmm, let me scour around and find some more things to take pictures of. So I had her uh, go into the cave, or rather I had her take a picture of this and take a picture of this, and then I had her go in the cave because we were here. And this time she heard a strange noise echoing in the cave as she explored its depths. Following the reverberations, she discovered the mesmerizing sight of rainbow patterned stalactites and reflected stalagmites. So that sounds like a mermaid cave to me. Forgetting about her intent for continued exploration, Randy spent her time marveling at the wonder in front of her before deciding to head back to the surface. So there is more to be discovered in that cave, but I did use it to get some pictures and man, it got overcast really fast. Do y'all see this? It's like, it's only 645. Look how dark it is out here though. There's like a storm happening or something. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's dolphins. There's dolphins, there's dolphins. Okay. Let's try this again. See, I heard that, see how my eye, my cursor has now changed to a little gear over the swarm of fish? I think that that's the key. Yup, there it is. Call over a dolphin. We did it too slow. Darn it, okay, we'll have to try it again later. But I think that that's the key, is that I wasn't clicking in the right spot before. So that should work now. Wow, it got really dark. And because we're like off the grid here, there is no lighting whatsoever, like. It is dark. Um, what does she want to do? She wants to view the tarot route. That's fine. We can go take a picture of it. I'm good with that because we need one more picture. And we still have to go to the waterfall too and get more um, more samples from it. All right. I'm going to have a run on over there. Okay. So we're at this tarot route. Go ahead and take a photo there. And then you can come to the waterfall and uh, we're taking a sample here. Somebody else is over here at the waterfall. Who is this? Oh, whoa, hold on, too high. Happened last time too. Let's go ahead, we'll do a friendly introduction. Based on the way he's dressed, I'm guessing that maybe he's a conservationist as well. So that could be kind of cool, like a, a coworker almost. Can we do another sample? Nope, we still gotta wait. Okay, that's fine. We'll sit here and chit chat with this guy a little bit until it's time for us to take one more sample from the waterfall. Okay, so it's let me take one more sample now. So we're done with work for the day. Now let's head on home so that she can try to do this kava party. Um, what is she going to look at now? Removing wild plant. Okay, I actually want to follow her and see what this is. I don't want her to do it. I'm going to cancel it hopefully before she actually gets that far into it. But she keeps having these removing wild plant um, little actions that are just kind of naturally popping up. I'm afraid I'm going to miss her trying to do whatever it is that she's doing. Let's keep following her. 
Oh, no. Okay. So stop it. So this is a coconut tree. Ooh, she's cold. Here, change clothes, sweet pea. Let's have her... Here, pause. No. Do not remove the wild plant. You have a coconut at home. You don't need to. Um, Outfits. Let's have her change into... Seems so silly to put her in her cold weather outfit, but I think that maybe she needs it. Um, okay. Let's have her go on home, and then we will try to do that party. Okay, so she's home, and she's pretty hungry, but otherwise she's in a pretty good mood. So that probably bodes well for us as far as throwing a party goes. Why don't you come on in here? I'm going to have her prepare the kava. So I think part of the problem is that there's so many actions that need to happen in order to get a gold uh, star. I need to kind of like prep beforehand, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead. We know they're going to need to dance. So let's put this on Island Radio. And I want to get Paolo in here. I want him to go ahead and let's have him go ahead and start to cook something. And then we'll immediately throw the party. Well, let's, let's wait until we throw the party. We'll do that kind of at the same time. What is he doing? He's just chatting with her. Don't get anything out of the fridge, though. That's not what, Or here, you could throw the party. No, it needs to be her party. <laughs> See how I have too many thoughts going on in my head at the same time. Okay, let's cue this up so you can start cooking for everybody. Uh, let's make fish tacos last time. Let's do chips and salsa. So we'll make a party size of chips and salsa. We're going to have you call a social event. Plan a social event. And hopefully the cook a meal for people will pop up with the right timing based on where he at, is at in the process. That's kind of like the whole thing that I've noticed is that you have to time things or else you're going to run out of time. See, we still have just a silver here. Okay. You are our hostess. And we definitely um, need to invite a lot of people because they're not all going to show up. And, like, you have to have so many people doing things at the same time that it's just really helpful if a lot of people are there. Okay. I picked a whole bunch of people that we have positive relationships with. So let's hope that this works now. So since he's already here, I'd say let's go ahead Call to grab drink, and hopefully that will sur suffice as invite guests to drink kava. Yep. Socialize with guests. Uh, or here, you need to grab a drink. You already have. And if we talk to him, since he is listed as a guest, maybe it'll count for some of these socializations. Let's see. We'll thank her for coming and thank him for coming. All right. So we've socialized with enough people. We've grabbed enough drinks. Let's make a toast. One of these people uh, who has a drink in their hand. And one of the things that I noticed uh, when I was, um, I was pulling up some information uh, to get the decades challenge uh, rules updated. So I like loaded up a separate game entirely and went into the world so that I could like look at the... Um, lot traits and all of the new character traits and things like that for people so that I could make sure that I really had a good sense for what all of the new things for the pack were. And the family that I happened to pull up, I'm going to pause it here, was the family that this sim, uh, what is their name? Uh, Leah Hawata. Um, I just pulled up their household. Just that's the house that I loaded into. And interestingly, when I went into create a sim to explore all the traits and everything, this particular sim is transgender. And I think that's really neat that the Sims team thought to add that in as one of the base game, or not base game, I guess pack sims for this particular pack. I just, I appreciated that. I thought that that was really interesting. Um, I don't know that that's happened before in any of the other packs. Okay, so we've prepared the meal. That got you, have everybody eat at the same time. Let's have everybody, uh, we'll call to this meal this time. It also gets confused because, like, when you call to a meal, it thinks you're doing both things. And then we also oh, will have to make more kava in order to invite guests to drink it. But go ahead. Okay, so we've got multiple people have grabbed chips. Okay. Please, y'all, eat it at the same time. Okay, that one's done. Excellent. See, why do we have to make another group meal? This is ridiculous. Okay, Paolo, you are back on cooking duty, friend. You need to... Uh, serve dinner, make some, uh, pan-fried tilapia, please. Go ahead, get that done. Oh, no. Um, here, pause. We'll have 
her ask this guy to dance? Can we just do that? Or do we have to actually go over and start dancing first? I think we have to start dancing first. Okay, so you're gonna come over here. Whoop, too far. So Randy, my love, you're gonna come over here and start dancing. And then you'll invite these other people to dance to get them out of the way of the fridge, hopefully. Here, let's X out of all of those things. I just want you to go dance. Okay. Hopefully this will work. All right, and then he's gonna call these people over to dance with her. More friendly. I don't wanna discuss dance techniques. I wanna invite them to join. Can we do that? Invite her to dance and invite him to dance. Here we go, this is what we needed to do. And invite her to dance and Paolo, wake up, come and serve dinner, make tilapia. We need all of these people to be dancing at the same time. So everybody needs to come and dance. Okay, so we got enough people dancing. Okay, now we're telling stories. Now we're telling stories. Okay, pause. We can do this. Like, this is ridiculous. I think that I have to be like some micromanagey about this stupid thing because we have to keep doing the same things over and over again. This is by far one of the hardest events, I think, that the game has. All right, so we're going to tell you a funny story. And we will... Um, Tell you a funny story. Okay, hopefully that'll be enough stories to mark that off. And then she's got to come back over here and make some more kava because she's got to invite them to drink it again. How much kava do these people need? Here, we can tell you people some stories too. So that hopefully we will get all the stories done before we've run out of time. Let's see, is there another one? I keep doing funny just because I know where that one is. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, the stories aren't done. Have Sims eating at the same time. Okay, so we need to call to meal. Okay. Uh-oh, the candy cafe is open. Um, close it. It's losing money. That's not good. We might just want to sell it at this point. Like, I haven't done a thing with it. Um, okay. We've told some stories. We have some Sims eating. Why don't you come and call people to a meal over here? I know he keeps just trying to go to bed. He's so tired. Um, we also need to prepare more kava. Oh, wait, have we got gold? <gasps> we hit gold. Excellent. Okay. Get a literal taste of island tradition by holding your own kava party. Use the special kava bowl to mix up your own batch and raise a toast to your friends, old and new. Disclaimer, excessive consumption of kava may lead to prolonged and extreme levels of relaxation. Extreme relaxation. I'm guessing it's like magic mushroom tea or something like that. That's that's my guess as to what that's all about. Um, we don't even have like a kava buff on at all. She's just like really hungry, which she's got so much food around her. I kind of feel bad. Um, where is she? Here, let's have her... I'm just going to set that there, and you can eat those chips and salsa. I don't know who they belong to, but they're yours now. Um, <laughs> but since we've got gold, I'm okay with it. Uh, that was the hardest part. So did this check off or not yet? I think it's got to wait until we actually officially end the party. But we'll keep knocking these things off. Here, let's tell a joke. I don't think that there's another level, but just in case there is, we will not miss it. Did that work? Nope. Chatting. Okay. Okay. Tell jokes worked. Oh, tell more stories. Good gracious. Somebody's thinking about how many dirty dishes there are. I know, right? Here, let me... I can work on that a little bit. Perk of being the watcher. Oh, and I broke it. Here. Nope. That's easy. Replace. We're done. Okay. Invite guests to drink kava. So we will call to grab a drink. I can't believe this is make group meal again. Like, that's just ridiculous. Because he's already made two. Like, why is there a third? <laughs> okay. That in there. And you need to actually grab one yourself, sweet pea. 
See, and then they all went and grabbed fish. That's what I'm saying. It's really, the game is super confused about how this works. Oh, apparently we made a toast. Let's see, these can all go in the sink. The little cups are cute, actually. Like, now I'm really curious about what is kava. Like, is it something that that we could make at home? Because you know it's based off something in real life. Or is it something a little more illicit that we wouldn't want to make in real life? I don't know. Here, stop washing dishes. Just grab yourself a drink, because I want to cross that one off in case there's something else we need to do. Where are you going? You're seriously going to drink your kava in the bathtub. This is like a mood right here. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> I love that. Oh, we still have more dirty dishes. Oh my goodness. Keep going. Keep going. Um, can we tell more stories? It's probably too late to do anything, but that's okay. More choices. I wanted like, where are the friendly options? Oh, ha! I've clicked on the wrong sim. Here we go. Let's funny joke about penguins. Sure, why not? Perfect, perfect kava kava party party. It's so nice we say it twice. Check out your new treasure trove in the household inventory inventory. Okay, something double has happened. And we have new things here. All right, so we need to find 10 things while beachcombing. And then we need to grill, barbecue, or roast food five times. Which is great because we have a barbecue pit outside and we haven't used it. Um, so let's actually... It's funny though because I call it a barbecue pit. And I'm sorry. Barbecue is like... I don't know that I would call that a barbecue pit. I might just call that a fire pit. Um, because barbecue has a very specific connotation that I don't know that the fire pit gets at. I don't know. It's funny. Okay, let's check out the household inventory. What is this guy up to? He's like on the ground with his kava. Do we have a buff from it? Okay, we do have one. Just from the party itself, though, not from actually drinking it. Does he? Yeah. I mean, this guy's on the ground, but other than that, I see no effects of kava. All right. We need to check the household inventory. What did we get for our kava party? Oh, we have a whole bunch of shells in here too. Do we already have all of these? Let's see. This is a tulip shell. Rarity is common. This is a tulip shell. Yeah, this is just a pink one. Here, we'll just sell it. We've got one of those. We've got one of those. I don't think we have one of these though. Yeah, that's a new one. And then this is the heart of Sulani which we have the Heart of Sulani. So maybe that was what we got for the party? Because that's our whole household inventory. Nothing else in there. It did say household inventory, right? What's in her personal inventory? Let's see. We have a globe. I don't think we had that before. Um, let's see. Maybe that was it. That seems like a really odd thing to have gotten from a party. Does he have anything in his inventory that's different? He's just got all of the stuff that he's found on the beach. Um, Yeah, I don't know what we actually got for that party. Oh, well. It checked off the thing on our list. That was the important part. So Randy's gone to bed and Pal is off for a run. And I did notice he does have one other buff, which is included from holding a kava party. Wait, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, imagined me and you and you and me. The kava bowl was full tonight. It was quite a sight. We dipped a cup and held it up. We drank all night. So happy together. That's hysterical. Um, if you know that song, let me know in the comments down below. That's just really funny to me. Um, but I think that's the only other kava induced moodlet I've seen. So I'm going to have her go ahead, sleep on through the night. Does she have work tomorrow? She does not have work. Um, so maybe it's the perfect day for her to go figure out the whole dolphin thing. So I have been diligently watching this one buoy all day long, <laughs> waiting for the dolphins to appear while Randy is supposed to be beachcombing, but she keeps stopping to use her phone um, because I know she needs to find things while she's beachcombing. But the dolphins have not appeared today. So I don't know. I don't know what the magic sauce is. How do we get them to appear uh, so that we can then come and try to talk to them? They seem to be elusive this morning. Perhaps we need to travel to uh, another location on the island. Uh-oh, what is happening here? What is this? Pinched by a crab from beachcombing. Did she find anything, though? 
because it's not checked off on our list. She didn't even find anything. Here, come over to this beach. Come beach comb over here. And let's see if that gets it. All right, so we still haven't had any dolphins. She still hasn't found anything beachcombing. I'm going to go take her to another beach. Let's have her travel, and we'll bring um, Paolo with us. Let's see. Where are you, Paolo? And actually, let's bring – where's household? Let's bring Armani, too, because I want to see – if Armani will play in the water with us, because um, I think that that would be really cute. I am imagining that Piper, or um, Piper, that's Randy's last name, that um, Rowley wants nothing to do with uh, playing in the ocean. But but it's possible that Armani will. So let's go, uh, yeah, let's go to this one, because this is the one that is um, a little less remote. Or sorry, yeah, less remote. <laughs> um, and maybe we'll have a dolphin off of one of these buoys. All right, so I found some. They're splishing and splashing over here, so I've just told them to come snorkel over here. Let's see if she can get here in time. Here, we'll go ahead, call over dolphin. Must be swimming in the ocean to summon a dolphin. Okay, so get over here. Come over here now before they go away. Call over dolphin. Okay, I don't care about the snorkeling anymore. I just want to call over a dolphin. Let's see. Oh, here she comes, here she comes. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Yanaloa, Mamara. It looks like they don't like her. I can't tell. Is somebody gonna come? We went to more choices, no? Oh, where's the little gear icon? That was how it said to do it. Oh, no! No, 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 we don't want that. Don't leave! No! Oh, there we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Call over Dauphin. Come on, Randy, you can do this. Just leave it there. Okay, she's ignoring me now. Call over a Dauphin. Or let's go to here. Let's right here. Maybe that will work better. And then we will... Call over a dolphin. Okay, Paolo's over here. Maybe he can make it work. He's snorkeling. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We have a dolphin, you guys. Oh my gosh, we have a dolphin. Oh, it has a question mark. So it's not sure. Look at this cute little icon here. We have like this little talk to dolphin, play with dolphin. Okay, so what interactions do we have? Just talk. All right, we're just gonna sit here and talk until it gives us something else that we can do. This is so cool, y'all. This is so cool. Oh my goodness, listen to it. And it's like bobbing its head around like dolphins do. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look, we have friendship relationship. We have friendship relationship. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do we seriously have... <gasps> indifferent. Stay or go, the dolphin doesn't care. Oh my gosh, we have a relationship that's indifferent with the dolphin. <laughs> Let's see, can we call back again? Here, uh, call over dolphin. I want your dolphin to come back. I want to become buddies. What is... Uh, why is this here? Okay, okay, you're still here. So we're gonna talk. Oh, we can feed it. Oh, hold on, come back here. What were those other, feed dolphin? I was thinking about a fish. Okay. We can, oh, look at all these options, you guys. Playfully splash dolphin. I bet they don't like that because they do like to splash. Ask to be squirted. Oh my gosh. Request trick. Dance. Oh, look at it! Oh, we are petting a dolphin! Oh my gosh! You guys, this is like the coolest thing on the face of the planet ever. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh, dolphin, I love you! I really want you to be my best friend. How do we get our relation up super high so that I can name you? Because I, I think that that's like the way that you then get to to really know them is that you can name them. Or maybe you can only do that if you're a mermaid. Oh my gosh. <gasps> so cool. 
Have any of y'all ever in real life actually seen a dolphin like like and played with it? I have a couple of times. I've been really, really lucky. Um, can we call them back? Call over dolphin. We gotta be friends, buddy. Um, when I was a little kid, we took a family trip to Hawaii. Oh, and the fish are gone now. I bet the dolphin's gone. Yep, dolphin's gone. Okay, but we will be able to call it another time now that we know what to do. So that is, you know, life goals is to befriend the dolphin. Um, so yeah, when I was a little kid, we went to Hawaii and we got to play with a dolphin. We actually have it like all on video um, of us like feeding the dolphin fish and getting to pet it and everything. So that's like a really formative memory for me because um, we used to watch that video all the time when we were kids. And then when I was, gosh, how old was I? Maybe 15 or 16, I got to do the Dolphin Cove experience down at SeaWorld, which was also really, really amazing. So I just, I have a thing for dolphins. So like, I'm more excited about the dolphins in The Sims than I am about the mermaids, to be perfectly honest. Okay, but it is uh, getting late on Sunday. I think I am going to have her head on back home. Um... Paolo is off sleeping somewhere. Where even is he? He is sleeping on a park bench. The poor thing. He is like, I am too tired and hungry to think about dolphins right now. I'm going to send them both home. We're going to get through the evening. And then she'll have work tomorrow. And I do think I'm going to have him pick up a part-time job. So we'll do all that in the morning. All right. So she needs to um, spread some conservation awareness to others. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, look. Try for a baby. That has never been one of their main options before. Let's go ahead and spread some conservation awareness to Paolo. So hopefully we'll tick that one off. And then I thought that he could come and see the waterfall with her because, you know, I don't know that he's seen that yet. So let's actually figure out where it is. All right, so conservation is done. Where is the waterfall? There it is, okay. Let's have them, I guess they could probably swim over. Here, let's actually, let's clean this up while we're doing it. And then we'll have them uh, go here to get, whoa, there is a woohoo option. <laughs> Excellent, we will do that. Um, first she's gonna take a sample though because there is a cool down period for the sample. So we definitely want to do that. And then um, I will have them woohoo together because that's just hilarious. Hopefully these other people will leave because that'll be really awkward if they don't. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, speed on through, clean the stuff up. Come on. And actually, I don't want you to chat with that guy that you were talking to before because you're gonna woohoo with your husband. Woohoo with Paolo. So, uh, a little curious to see what this looks like. Can we do it in a way that's uh, less creepy? <laughs> Where, oh, she's gotta go get him? That's kind of annoying. Okay, hurry up, go get him, bring him over here. You two need to leave. <laughs> Cause it's gonna get awkward if you don't. Oh no, 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 I wanna watch it. Cause I'm a creeper like that. Okay, all right. I hope those people will go away. Where are people? Are they coming? Are they coming? Okay, so it took forever because uh, Paolo was off playing on the jet ski. But uh, now they finally are going to woohoo in the waterfall and I'm being a total creeper and taking pictures of it. Look at that. That's actually kind of pretty. You have to admit. Uh-oh. We got fireworks. I wonder what happens when um, the, 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 uh, the final moments of said woohoo are occurring. What animation we're going to get with that. I hear splashing, but that might just be the frogs. Whoa! Like straight up fireworks in the middle of the waterfall. That's hilarious. I love that. That is so funny. He's like all cocky and confident walking out. Oh, now he's hungry. That's okay. And she's on her phone. And it's back to reality. Of course it is. Here, come and get your last sample. Um, can we? More choices. Yeah, there we go. Take sample. So that makes that piece done for work today. So she's finished all of that. Oh my gosh, how many pictures did I take? Okay, so let's have, oh look, he's taking a shower. He's like straight up taking a shower. You crazy? Okay, 
So let's see if we can get one more little uh, sesh with our favorite dolphin buddy. Where's that buoy that was here? No, I think it was this way. I'm slowly starting to learn my way around. It's taken forever, but we'll, we'll get there. It's like that with any new world. Maybe I made that up entirely. Where was the buoy where we talked to him originally? Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Here? Maybe? This one seems really deep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's come here. Here, come swim here. Because those dolphins look different. Do you see this? Come back out. Of course they're not going to do it because I'm here. They were like pink or orange or something. That was really cool. But I don't think we could have swam with those anyway because this is like the deep water buoy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. there we go, there we go. Let's see if they'll do it again. Of course, they're only doing it like when we're zoomed out. Maybe if we zoom out a little more. Yeah. See, it's like a pink dolphin. That's so cool. Okay. Um, let's see. Since we can't swim with those, where's the other buoy? The one where we did swim with them before. Is that is this a buoy over here? Yes, this is a buoy over here. And here's, look, more pink dolphins. Okay, okay, I'm not crazy. Or maybe it's just because it's sunset, they look pink. Here, swim here. Don't swim to that other spot. Swim here. And then I want you to come call over a dolphin. Oh my gosh, look, there's turtles too. Do you see this? I wonder if we could be with the turtles. I want to say hi to the turtle. Can we do anything with him? Swim with, no, that's with people. Like we have the little gear icon. Can we like, I want to swim with the turtle. I don't know. Maybe it's only the dolphins. Here. She's coming over here to swim with the dolphins. If they're still here even. It took her forever to get over here. Okay, so the dolphins are still here. That is good. Yeah, we've called over a dolphin now. Oh, no, I don't want to swim there. I want to just hang out with the dolphin. Come on, give me the little gear icon again. There it is. Wait, hold on. There it is. Ah, oh, darn it. Too slow, too slow. She was, like, swimming from the whole other side of the island, so... Oh, well, that's fine. Okay. Well, I think that I'm actually going to leave this part here uh, because we did get to swim with the dolphin, and that was pretty amazing. Wait, here we go. Here's the turtle again. Should we try one more time with the turtle and see what's going on? No, don't go look at that tree. I want you to come over here. Swim here. I want to see what happens if we do get to the turtle. There's two of them. So can you do anything with the turtles? Swim here. I don't know that we can do anything with the turtles other than just acknowledge that they look really cool. <laughs> they are really neat though. That's really cool. Okay. Well, like I said, I do think I'm going to call that uh, a part. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed exploring a little bit more. Oh gosh. What is she doing? Oh no. Oh, 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 there's a shark. I did not know that we had sharks. Oh my gosh. That like actually like that. My heart skipped a beat. I'm, like, startled now. You need to get get back on into dry land, Missy. You are too deep. Here, go here. I want you to get out of the water. No shark-infested waters for you, Missy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That, like, really legit, like, actually startled me. <laughs> my heart just leapt up into my throat. Okay, the end. Finite. That's the end of the part, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up and make sure that if you haven't already that you are subscribed to my channel. And don't forget about that giveaway that I've got going on. And I will see you guys in the next part. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. Bye.